I just had an idea making this video to end page of a, a good way, I think, to describe the difference between deduction and induction. It's an important distinction. Okay. So I think it can be described really effectively with evolution. So let's say I know that uh, somehow my, I had an ancestor, an ancestor that was a single-celled life form. Okay. But it's deduction to say that somehow a single-celled life form can evolve eyes. Right? That's deduction because I have eyes and saying that uh, the single cell life form could evolve eyes is just a way of saying that between now and when I, that ancestor existed, uh, you know, it somehow progenerated eyes. So that's the kind of thing we can say that's, that's very certain. It's really the most certain way to reason. I mean, the uncertainty in a statement like that is, is the uncertainty that that really was my ancestor, right? Tracing that that was my ancestor. That's where the uncertainty comes in. The logic of deduction, if that's true, well, yeah, it's necessarily true. If, if that was my ancestor, then, then somehow that ancestor was able to evolve eyes. And all the other senses and organs, right? Okay, so induction, on the other hand, is if I say something about the future. Because if I say, for example, well, not only, you know, maybe I go in order, you know, I evolved uh, taste and uh, uh, eyes and hearing and, you know, and four legs and the ability to walk on a forebrain and, and on two legs and a forebrain to walk on a forebrain, you know, and, and all of these things sequentially, whatever the sequence is. And so inductively, I say, I will probably evolve new senses. I'll evolve new organs. That is induction, right? It is not as certain because, you know, maybe my species is going to be wiped out. On the other hand, it's a pretty reliable way to reason. I mean, if my species isn't going to die out, then, you know, how could it not evolve new organs of some kind. Well, I guess it could just lose organs it currently has. It's arguable that, that those would be new organs, you know, that the appendix, though useless, is, is a new organ compared to whatever it was when it wasn't useless. Um, though that's a bit of a stretch, I'd say, okay, possible. But we're getting into a thing where there's change. Animals that survive continue to evolve new adaptations. Uh, so I believe it's pretty certain that we will evolve new organs. Now let's narrow it down. We have evolved since after since. So I believe that it's likely that we will evolve a new since. Now maybe it's not likely, but it is inductive. It's induction.